basically robotic surgery there are always been lot of controversies like when i can do laparoscopic why i should do robotic surgery so uh, the answer to the question is that we believe we agree yes you can do it laparoscopically but then it is also the comfort level of surgeon and the patient not every surgeon who is laparoscopic can do all laparoscopic surgery there are very good surgeons they can do everything laparoscopic but this is very good procedure to an average surgeon i will say myself as an average surgeon and i can do anything which laparoscopic can be done robotically in much easier way so laparoscopic surgery has been good for routine procedures like lap coli lap hernia and it has a uh, like advanced cases also we can do but there we always struggle in laparoscopic surgery more time consuming more tiring and there is 2d vision camera control is always dependent sometimes your assistant who is showing the camera is also looking at something else you are you want something else and then orientation a lot of stress is involved and the intuitive movements are not there and the angles and movements are very restricted you can only do the movement what your wrist will allow which is not there in robotic surgery so we always wish that we had four arms right so that wish has come true through this robotic surgery now you can see with the combination of movement that the elbow wrist and joint you can do complete 360 degree movement of any instrument you want in robotic surgery so are these really useful yes because it is true th 3d vision so you will have the perception of depth as well clarity is very good and there's a scaling of movement possible then you can control all your four arms all four arms are under your control then you have articulating movements to give an example um video which i let select okay so this will give you basic idea about how it works ये प्ले नहीं हो रहा फॉर्मेट चेंज करना होगा क्या चेंज करना होगा आप आप फॉर्मेट एमपी थ्री है ये एमपी थ्री फोर पर चलेगा ना about what it can be with luxury income bikes great yeah 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 okay. thank you for now I'll be there but we can just be there on my uh... well अच्छा वीडियो का डुप्लीकेट नहीं होगा तो फिर चलेगा नहीं ना पेन ड्राइव में तो है सो मे बी आई शो यू दिस वीडियो लेटर ऑन वेन इट इज सॉर्टेड आउट डायरेक्टली थ्रू द पेन ड्राइव सो लेट्स कम टू अवर नेक्स्ट लाइफ दिस इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड एज आई शो यू लेटर now so regarding this previous discussion everything has been proven with lot of studies that robotic surgery is actually a very safe surgery comfortable and the accuracy is yes relatively it's more than laparoscopic surgery and much more in average surgeries which are complex with limited space so if you compare with all the three systems in lap and da vinci if you compare the time taken for the suture not errors and not tying errors so time is minimum in robotic and the errors are minimum in robotic surgery so robotic versus standard laparoscopic te uh, technique which is better so there was a systemic review of robotic versus laparoscopic ru and y surgery and there are like total 10 in studies which included result for 2557 patients in 1695 out of 1695 robotic bypass surgeries between 2003 and 11 and there was a systemic review of pooled analysis of robotic versus laparoscopic rygb in morbidly ob obese patient identified 
seven relevant studies of 1,686 patients. So these all are very, very big uh, studies and they all proved that robotic surgery is safer and better option. But there is criticism like first, cost. Da Vinci surgical robot, if you see, it's very costly. But there are positive side and negative side of each and everything. And to compare with, I'll give you one very small example. When the mobile phone was there in India in 95, 96, 94, that time incoming call was like 32 rupees and outgoing was also very, very costly. And it was like very, very high that it was beyond usage of common men. But now if you see, everybody is keeping 2-3 mobiles with 2-3 numbers and even you are ordering your grocery with two your sabji wala on phone line. You call him, you WhatsApp him and he send it to your home. So how common it has become now. So you need to go with the future. You need to go with the technology. You cannot refuse. This is the same example as I was telling. So criticism too. There are surgeons who say I can do everything laparoscopic. Agree. But if you see this and if you see this, you can travel in both. What option you will choose out of these two buses? Both are available. Both are available. We are talking about. So that, that explains everything. Because you see, you can do surgery with laparoscopy. I do with laparoscopy and I do robotic. I am fortunate I have a robot available. I can do robotically. So when the distance is long, the travel is long enough and you are having a long journey, then I will choose a comfortable ride. So same. Yeah. So that's the that same way it explains about robotic surgery. So criticism 3 is docking time, but this is now a long story because we do our docking under 3 minutes. This video is not working. I can show you later on, but our docking time is less than 3 minutes and it is same with almost everyone who is doing routinely robotic surgery now. So here we comp uh, compare with 30 cases each of laparoscopic and robotic MGB. So step 1, we have taken induction to start of dissection. 2. Time taken for pouch formation. 3. Time for GJ. And 4. Is time taken for extubation. So, out of 4 steps, we compared everything with mean and standard deviation. And as you can see, the overall time in robotic surgery is actually less than the laparoscopic surgery. It's very useful in high BMI patients who have heavy and thick abdominal wall muscle. You need more pressure and more CO2. Then there is talk to the surgeon's arm which has transferred to your shoulder. So it is more tiring. There is more of fatigue and more of errors while suturing and tremors are more. Whereas in robotic surgery there is tremor filter. You cannot have tremors while doing robotic suturing. There is, if there is more intra-abdominal fat, the liver is large, then stiff head up is also having difficulties. Has dissection, visualization and suturing becomes challenging and risky at times in laparoscopic surgery. If we talk about hospital history, laparoscopy it is 1.6 and robotic it is 1.2 average stay period after MGB. So we admit the patient in the morning, prepared, PSC done, investigated. We do the case and next the patient is discharged. So, there is one thing which is robotic digital interface. It is ergonomically comfortable for the surgeon to sit at a console with well positioned hand and eyes that are well aligned. So, you are sitting on a chair, you are not a scrub. You are just comfortably having your armrest, you are sitting in a 3D vision and you are operating. In between, you can have a cup of coffee as well if there is you need a break or if there is something you are sister and she is bringing from the store. So, <laughs> So, there's hand control on telescope and three instruments and foot control on energy device. So, what you need is the movement, pincer movement and thumb movement like you use in the clutch or accelerator in automatic vehicle. And all the four arms are under your control. The camera is stable and there are controls for all four robotic arms of the surgeon. The robot removes counterintuitive movement and instrument tremors in a three-dimension viewing platform. So, what else you need? So this movement is endoris movement with 360 degree. So your laparoscopic movement usually you can do like this. That is the maximum you can do. But in robotic surgery you can do like this, like this, like this, like this. Whatever you feel you can do. 
so that makes suturing very very easy and dissection at complicated uh, places much easier robotic suturing has 7 degree of freedom it is multidirectional precise and tremor free and the accessory arm retracts and holds the tissue in position so there are basically three operating arms you can only operate with two arms so one arm you can hold up the tissue leave it there it will be holding like that switch you clutch to other arm and then start operating that arm will be holding and giving the proper traction without any movement So we are lucky to have done the first one in the world, robotic bypass, robotic MGB. As of now, it is not only 200, it is 400 plus cases now. This is previous very old slide. With no complication and average weight loss after one year is greater than 75% of excess weight. So what are the chances of complication? Leak in one month, zero. Diarrhea in 12%, in one month and 3% in three months. Reflux 6% and dumping is also very less. But yes, it's constant. In first one month, it is 33%. And by the time this 33% dumping is there, patient knows that what to eat and what not to eat. So when he starts eating something which is not good for him, he knows that dumping will happen. So he's very much scared. Because of that fear, later on after six months also, he won't eat. Although now dumping is not there, but that fear is there. So that's the beauty of the surgery. So what are the advantages in robotic? Steep head up is not required. There is always extra space, especially in superobies, you get to operate. Talk reduction is there. There is a procedure which is robo-lift. So when you dock the robotic ports, what you can do is you press the clutch button on the arms and you lift all the arms. So when you increase it even by one centimeter, so volumetrically it gives you a good enough space. Otherwise, if you are struggling laparoscopically, that problem is not there because of robo-lift. So these are basic steps which we already dis uh, discussed. So the summary is by providing surgeon with superior visualization and as dexterity and greater precision and ergonomic comfort, surgical robot makes it possible for more surgeons to perform minimally invasive procedure involving complex dissection or reconstruction. So our recommendation is advantages in most prominent in bariatric revision surgeries or any bariatric surgery and MGB in super obese patient. Conclusion, it is the future of our field. It's a good fit for a specific procedure, but not for all common procedures like cholecystectomies and inguinal hernias. Complex hernias, we do these days with robotic and it is very easy, like ETAP tar So how we're using computer technology and advanced imaging to improve what we do for patient is absolutely the future of surgery. And the current generation of robotic devices is the very beginning of that revolution. Now, thank you very much. With this, I would like to show a real-time video of our robotic MGB and I think you all will like it. Meanwhile, we will discuss when we will run the video simultaneously. Okay. Okay, so these are now robotic instrument and you see the movement that is very important in this video because surgery steps we already discussed. So, see how steady everything is. At the lesser curvature we are opening now. Yes, exactly. So now the robotic It's the way they say. You did this. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are taking purple uh, tri stepper first. And we are not changing our ports. This is like same port. All the staplers come through same port. Now you see its movement between the surgeon at console and surgeon at cart. So now I am pushing it down and the surgeon has consoled, he is pulling the stomach upward. We'll go at the lower most limit possible. I first love it.
And while doing this, you should always keep in mind where is GCT. And not to mention, there should absolutely be there no rise tube inside. Sometimes anesthetists have tendency to pull, put the rise tube inside. At a newer setup, if you are operating, if it's new procedure at some center, then make sure that there is no rise tube inside. Otherwise, it will be fired in between along with your step. Now we adjust the GCT again. Through the same port, you see, this is the next firing. And here, very important thing while doing firing, literally in making the tube, that when you are closing the stapler, you should just rotate it bit anti-clockwise, slightly and slightly side it laterally, slightly. Even if it is not, somebody cannot observe, but you do it. So, because of that, you can prevent the twisting of the pouch. It's, it's a loose pouch. It's not very accurately calibrated around GCT because that's what you need in MGV. He was if um, no, I'll touch the thing. My left hand. My left hand is free. I am firing stapler with my right hand. This robot, this is laparoscopic st uh, stapler we are firing. And these right and left hand are under control of Dr. Prashad. So one more stapler again. Here you all can notice, once the stapler is fired and I take it out, we are not wasting time for another stapler. That immediately comes. So these all small, small steps all together saves time in any surgery. So what we do is we keep two guns ready, mostly ETO because one ETO, one fresh and then you can, by the time you are firing one, the sister scrub nurse loads one and keep ready for you. And you take it out and another one is transferred immediately in your hand. So this is the pouch which is roughly loose and Now we are at angle of face. So here you can see the instrument harmony is not in the scene, but it is there inside. It is ready. So you don't need to change the instrument because three instruments are under your control. Now done. Harmonic you can see there. But then maybe we will see and decide if one more firing is required. So we will wait. Harmonic is again there is stationary. Safe, it won't move otherwise. Adjusted for the section and next firing. By the time he was making window, another stapler is ready. Now it is very important to see the posterior aspect of the stapler, the blue color cartridge before firing. Because if you don't see that, you are not safe. You can see the spleen as well there now.
the big production and the and the handle of it what what is the uh, we should that's what in mg movies we say we should not go very close it's not always necessary to go close to esophagus you can go literally as well because that is not restrictive surgery it is not restrictive it is metabolic So the long pouch is ready now. Now we'll search for the DJ. This is my right hand with ball grasper. It's ready there. Hardly we communicate when we are doing surgery. We know what we want and we do it accordingly. So it's all coordinated. Yeah. So the length of this instrument from here to here is 5 cm. The length is 5 cm. How do we calculate the distance? This instrument you see, sort of the, from here to here it is 5 cm. So initially we used to measure with that and after doing so many cases now we know that what is the length of this and accordingly we calculate. So every time we catch next segment it is 5 cm. So 40 means we did. 540 200 200 centimeter now again everything is ready here and this movement while putting the stapler inside the jejunum, it should be like wearing your pajama or trouser. It should not be other way around. How, how you wear your pajama? You lift your pajama up. You don't push your leg in the bowl. So the stapler is leg and the bowl is pajama. So bowl should, you should hold and pull it over the stapler. That is safe. If you put the stapler, sometimes it can perforate the other end of the small bowl. The point. It is like a movement of wearing pajama. You should pull up the pajama while you are wearing pajama. You pull up your pajama, right? So that same way you need to hold the bowl and pull it over the stapler. Yeah. So this is completely posterior anastomosis.
bisschen erfüllt wird. Das Drill ist am Ende. Anterior, posterior. Posterior ist MGB. Das ist anterior nest, was ist OAGB. Und das Stepper Line Serpentel ist still there. Is. <laughs> A lot of controversy. You can give some new name. These are different words, actually. Yes. So here now we are doing an uh, suturing. That is the best part of robotic surgery, and uh, it's very very easy in small spaces. The concept of C and J is not a problem here in, uh, in suturing, which is there always you need to follow laparoscopy. Here you can hold the needle the way you feel like and you can manipulate and maneuver and you can do the suturing. Das heißt, wenn du sagst, ah, das ist das Gute, hey, hey, look, da, one, two, three, but I thought, God, I can't have any. Ja, das ist ein Klick. Yes, so that is, that is actually advertised. Laparoscopy, we all have this problem, struggle, and it's tiring at the end of the surgery and after doing three, four, five procedures in a day. So, this is very easy. That's what we would discuss, like, in previous slides, that it's easier to, Comfortable and if the surgeon is comfortable, the patient's surgery is automatically safe. You do follow stay thin, meaning so. I said at first the one it. So by the time we are finishing this anastomosis, the sister has kept this methylene glue for leak test ready. So you see there how easily now you can manipulate the needle gone inside nicely opens complete clear vision complete safety and you can go inside and take that bite 
that I should be honored to have a being of better. We Jenny God, that the being to lay out this spirit. Mine is beauty than bully Donna. That's it. Obviously, you did last. This is step. You mean this is step is a step, right? Uh, self default. Yeah. But here to use the step man is not wise decision because you are doing robotic surgery. Suturing is the best part. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Laparoscopy, many people choose the stapler. Somebody was asking if this is a barb suture in the previous presentation. So we started using barb suture and now the companies as well recommend that it is the safest suture to use in bowel anastomosis. Previously companies were also apprehensive when they launched these sutures and they were mainly promoting it for sheath, rectus sheath closure. That's it. Far cry the bus to depict, right? No, there won't be any first sting because we are not taking around the thing, no? We are just having linear suturing and there is GCT inside. So when there is... For that purpose, we keep GCT inside so that even if there is complaint, that minimum what we need is there. So, okay. So that's the end of the surgery and after that we do the leak test. And... Uh, as I told you previously, this is unedited real-time video and uh, the total time if anybody was observing is 19 minutes for this surgery from beginning to end. So, it's not very complicated. It depends upon the practice and then use of newer techniques. You should always adapt to changes. changes. Thank you very much. Start. Excuse you, there have been one for us. Okay, okay, fine. Um, yet enough and right. So this is about console that you all know, I think. But we'll just show you. So we can. Whoops. Okay. So play one sir. Both versus Duffy's. But to see what the assist of what has then should has uh um to see 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 this if you ask me I'll give you biased answer because I am using Da Vinci. So this should be asked to someone who has used all kind of robots and who is using regularly all kind of robots for surgery. But to me I think there are still these uh, robots are coming and they have like cost definitely is lesser on the lesser side. But few don't have harmonic, few don't have some energy devices, few don't have stapler devices. And since this is the earliest robot, they even have robotic staplers now available. So this is my opinion that even as of now, this is a better robot. But yes, these new robots are there for competition and competition is good for us. As long as there is competition, we will get better products at better rates. Uh, Parastuman, Parastuman. Yeah, Parastuman. So this is how we sit on the console. You see with the pincer graft, with a thumb and the index finger, I am having both the controls in my hand.
now these are energy devices on my foot to the right and to the left so to the right of the uh, dock side you can use the right button and left similarly that is the camera with that you press and you can adjust the camera press it zoom going nearby coming closer and clutch is there with the side pedal with when you press the clutch or even in the hand it is there clutched so instruments are all free when you press the clutch so they won't move they will be there you can adjust your position again then there is safety button right side shut off and shut on button is there then you have settings you have settings on the in the console when you do comfortable sitting when you press that thing like your settings automatically everything will change to your ergonomics and comfort and this is one parastomal hernia what we are doing and uh, making the plane over the posterior rectus sheath and below the posterior rectus muscle this is a modified uh, sugar baker technique which i think is not in our program and sir shall we move to our next topic so i think next uh, sir will only cover so so meanwhile i can show this okay that must be the yeah yeah this is a permanent diversion stroma and with parastomal hernia post apr and there was a this we are doing modified robotic sugar baker repair with a mesh and you can see this is the defect around the stoma around the bowel around the ilium and uh, now we are we have already mobilized the posterior rectus sheath nicely and above is the posterior rectus muscle and after that around the stoma we make a window and push push the rectus sheath down now we are going laterally further lateral to the stoma so now the dissection is complete as you can see now we will close the defect around the ilium prof this the fifth this bus plus t there is the sheep one defect is in the muscle anterior posterior to sit everywhere it is coming that's why it's yeah yes yeah now to create an angle we stitch the bowl to the muscle superiorly how did it free tape and it did but the right family they need been way to bond it fit with my half yeah so now uh, as the, the, we have we are finished with everything and now uh, this is we are measuring the length of the mesh how much we need and we'll tailor the mesh accordingly now this is in the recti recti rectus sheath we are closing the defect the hole we created we are closing that hole off and you see in the minimum space how easy the suturing is so this was 30 by 30 mesh which we tailored to 15 by 20 if i remember exactly place the mesh and fix that four corners look we are bending all the line directly with this just yeah but we are just putting few stitches and after that we are closing the sheath 